All right, you ready for the missing ayahuasca story? The missing ayahuasca story. And this story is fucking nuts. Also, also keep in mind that the words I'm going to use represent 1% of what actually happened. Like, I can't figure out the words to use because it's too nuts. But if I ever can figure it out, be it my son. Oh, my God. He's going to write the greatest fucking movie ever. Ever. And it's like, oh. Also, to put it in perspective, right? I'm pretty sure any of this can happen to any of you. He's got to drink to shit. But, uh, and it's fucking nuts. But I was lucky that this didn't happen in Peru or I would have fucking been done, right? I would have been like, what the fuck just happened, right? I would have, it would have been too much. So this is my missing ayahuasca experience, aka, uh, the night my wife blew up my hard armor. A.K. the worst night's sleep ever. A.K. the worst nightmare ever. Like, I thought the one Grandpa put me through was the one. No. No, 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 no. This is way worse. Way worse. I was like, oh, God. So, uh, so here's the story, right? So, I'm chilling there. I'm listening to Ed Sheeran sing some song. And then I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, Hey, I'll write some, I got some spare time. Let's write out our trauma statement. Fuck writing out my trauma statements. I hate writing out my trauma statements. Fuck that shit, right? Oh, after this experience. Then I was like, oh, yeah, this is great. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, my God. I start crying. I'm like, oh, my God. My wife just got home. I'm like, oh, my God. She can't think my cry. Fuck, I got to hide, right? And so then some other shit happens. And then all of a sudden, my brain, like, finally got to the end of a sequence where it was trying to think if my wife was really as trained as I think she is. Because she really is prepared as I think she is. And it's like, almost. But it was like, she's there. I was like, she's there. I'm done with this shit. My responsibility is over. But it's like, no, not quite. I'm like, are you sure? And it was all of a sudden, it was like. What are you going to do about this? And all the information from the world was just like. (gasps) And I was like, oh, my God, I can't understand any of this shit. And I can't explain it because it was only coming on one speed. It was all of it. (gasps) And then off. And I was like, oh, God damn it. Because I wasn't as specific as I should have been. I was like, fuck. Never ask any questions. So I was like. I was like, oh. Oh shit, Google and fucking ah, psh, ah, psh, ah. I was like, ah, this is fucking worthless. I was like, let's go to sleep. So then I went to sleep, which was a terrible idea. Because then all of a sudden, I'm floating above my body, and I'm like, motherfucker, I'm not fucking dead. And I'm like, oh my god. My wife's going to wake up. She could wake up any minute. She's going to think I'm fucking dead. She's going to call the fucking police. They're going to think I'm fucking dead. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm not fucking dead. I'm in fucking crazy land. I'm like, ah, right? And so then I'm sitting there. And I'm like, oh, my God. And then I'm in hell. I'm literally in fucking hell. And I was like, oh, my God. And you know what I thought about? I thought about my whole life. I told my mom, I'm, I'm ready to spend I'll fucking live in hell. I'm prepared for fucking whatever. And I was like, oh, fuck, now I'm in hell. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to be stuck here in hell forever. And these motherfuckers are going to think I'm dead. I'm not fucking dead. I'm just stuck here in hell. Something is fucked up. And then I start seeing this clock, right? And it's like, and they're, except instead of a clock, which tells time, it's like life. It's like just, and I was like, what the fuck? Just live, 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 live. And I was like, oh, and then it zoomed in. And I got in on the, I zoomed in on, zeroed in on on the bad ones. And I was like, oh, God, here comes the worst part of <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to be sucking dick. It's like, oh, shit, here comes the part where you're just sucking dicks. It's like, oh. And then that happened like, 10,000 times. I was like, oh. And then I realized, oh, wait, I'm not sucking any dicks. I'm right there. What the fuck's going on? I'm in hell. And then that happened for like 
oh, for fucking ever. I was like, Jesus Christ, I'm really going to be stuck in hell forever. This is like the worst idea ever. I'm having the worst panic attack ever. And then I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What did I mean? Who is that motherfucker? I was like, oh, yeah, Ram Dass. I was like, oh, shit. What did he say to do? Just breathe. Oh, yeah, just breathe. And I was like, Whew. and then I woke up and I was like, ah! Ah! where the fuck am I? I was like, ah! I was like, where the fuck am I? I was like, Jesus Christ. I was like, what fucking year is it? <laughs> oh my God, this is so fucking terrible. For like two weeks, I thought I was insane. Then I'm like, oh my God. Oh shit. Oh, I just had a fucking bad reaction. That's all I had. I had a fucking crazy ass nightmare, just like some other people did. It's like, did you take anything? No, no. It was just a fucking Tuesday. I may have ate an edible, maybe. I can't recall, but it's like, shit, not anything that fucking like that equaled some bullshit like that. It's like, god damn. Woo! Woo! That was fucking nuts. So, uh, yeah. Thank God that didn't happen in Peru. I was like, holy shit. It was a good thing that I skipped that ceremony. <laughs> 